How important is it to have a good, clear description of the project or the scope of work in a written contract? Well, think about this for a moment. Let's say that in your contract, all it says is that they're going to remodel the bathroom for your bathroom remodeling project. That's pretty vague. That could be anything. Now, let's say the second example says bathroom remodeling project, new toilet, new bathtub, and uh, new tile. Well, what about the floor and the cabinet and the sink and painting, uh, electrical, plumbing, rough plumbing, uh, fixtures, the ceiling, lights? Uh, what about the other things here? So you want to make sure that you have as much information as possible in a written contract. And a good example of that, and I'm just going to focus on a couple of parts here of the contract. Let's say that you're getting your bathroom remodeled and you're putting a new tub in. It wouldn't be a bad idea to have the color of the tub and the model number and the manufacturer in the contract. So we're going to be installing a brand new white, white Kohler bathtub model number so and so then proceed to the sink, the cabinet, the flooring. The more stuff you have written in your contract, the less problems you're going to have with your contractor or if you have any problems with your contractor. So if your contractor installs the wrong tub, um, you've got it in your contract, um, you can't go wrong here. If it's not in your contract, if it just says to install a new white tub, you could have some problems.